Hi, this is Thundee from BorderWork.com and today I'll be doing a review of, yes, the Dell Venue Pro. This mysterious Windows Phone, Phone 7 device uh, from Dell, uh, we actually have it in our hands now. Um, I know most people probably think, well, um, the phone disappeared off the market, something happened, but no, it's still available. You can still get it from Dell.com and uh, let's uh, first, first of all open it up and check out the contents of the package. You see the black packaging it does come you do have your Dell Venue Pro um, set that aside for now it's battery in here what else do we have here we have our Windows phone um, user manual got a sim card from T-Mobile we have this box in here at the bottom that houses the travel charger, which of course uses USB, USB to micro USB connector. What else do we have here? Do we have um, a headphone jack um, for wi wireless hands free, and of course more user manuals, warranty information, all that uh, good stuff. So let's. Uh, Go ahead and take a look at the Venue Pro. The uh, Droid Venue Pro does come with a 1400 milliamp battery. Um, <clears throat> you do have this uh, chrome finishing on the side, uh, both left and right. On the front, you do have touch sensitive buttons for your back, Windows button, as well as your search. Right hand side, you do have your volume toggles, as well as your camera button. On the top, your power button and your 3.5 mm jack, power 3.5. The back is houses the 5 megapixel camera with flash. You can see the speakers at the bottom of the micro SD card slot. And sliding it out reveals the um, QWERTY keyboard, very similar to what you would find with, say, um, a BlackBerry or similar style QWERTY keyboards. And actually, this actually might function well considering that the Windows Phone. Uh, doesn't auto rotate the um, screen when you put it in landscape mode, so this actually works will probably work pretty well. Um, so we're gonna go ahead power the device, use it for a while, and uh, I've used the Dell Venue Pro review. for a while, and um, you do have your first thing you notice you do have your typical Windows uh, phone experience here, which is which is very nice. You um, <clears throat> It's an easy in and out approach. What I do uh, like about the devices is the slide up keyboard that actually comes out, the QWERTY keyboard actually slides out um, up and down sort of vertically. So you do have button access here because I need a physical button keyboard. But you know, I'm, I'm glad that this is here instead of you know sliding out the other way because Windows doesn't rotate yet. Other things to note, uh, the camera, uh, the camera is decent, um, uh, you'll have steals with this review. It's not a, it's not a super great camera, but it's also, uh, at 5 megapixels, actually a pretty nice camera. Again, integration with Zoom interface is very nice. I have a Zoom, Zoom uh, player, so for me this just works out very well, I like that. Um, you know, overall it runs very smooth, the battery life is, man, is gorgeous. I mean, I had this phone, I used it for about three days straight uh, before it actually died on me. And um, when I say three days straight, I'm more, you know, medium to moderate use. So I wasn't heavy, it wasn't a lot of heavy use on the phone, but it still lasted me quite a while. So I was very happy with that. And I was happy with the fact that, you know, I didn't have to necessarily, um, <clears throat> you know, charge the phone, which is also very nice. Uh, what's new pictures? I just wanted to show you some pictures that I took on the device. If I go to all here, camera roll. So you can see. It says auto rotate. So you can see some of the pictures. Uh, again, I will have them with the, the whole review so you guys can check out. But again, you know, it's a very nice one, very good entry. Sound quality is actually very good. Um, I threw on some of my uh, video content here. I'm just going to jump back to my Zoom. And I'll show you what I have. Um, movie Black Dynamite. So, threw that up there. You can hear that. That's from the speakers. You see that quite clearly.
turned down the volume, you know. So, but, you know, that's it, the Dell Venue Pro. Um, it's a solid entry. Um, it's very first good effort from Dell. Um, the things I like to have about the device, I like the battery life. I like the uh, slide out keyboard. Also, it's actually very well balanced. Um, so even though you slide out, it doesn't actually tip over or feel like it's weighted on one end. Uh, the camera was decent. I do like general the Windows Phone 7 interface. Yeah, you get a lot of you know in and out activity with the device. Um, and also, the camera comes with flash. What I didn't like so much about the device was it's the styling feels a little bulky. Even though it's actually the same size and weight as my G2, it just feels a little bulky and styling. But again, you know, um, this was a this is basically the first entry into the Windows Phone market. So, um, you know, I'm sure definitely in future uh, iterations of the device will be um, uh, more streamlined and you know more ergonomical, so to speak. But overall, um, I do like the Dell Venue Pro. I know we've been waiting to see this for a while, and um, you know, it hasn't disappointed. Um, it's a very good Windows Phone 7 device. It's actually priced competitively now. I think it's maybe you can find it between under $100, I believe. So uh, if you're looking for a Windows Phone device and you want one with QWERTY keyboard um, that actually you can use. Um, for me, this is not the best keyboard for me, so I can't really judge that on that. But it still works well. Uh, personally, for me, I prefer full out keyboard just because of my fingers. But uh, if you want a Windows Phone 7 device that, you know, works well, uh, great battery life, um, and also has a QWERTY keyboard, full QWERTY keyboard, this is a device for you, the Dell Venue Pro. Um, so if you guys have any questions, any comments, let us know. Don't forget to subscribe to all our pages on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. It's um, all Borderwork. And this is Thunder E from Borderwork saying thank you and um, always enjoy entertainment.